Peace, peace, and blessings. What's happening, y'all? You already know. Welcome back to one of the best shows online that you probably not, never even seen, but you're going to see it today. Welcome back to the square table where you come get back in your square, only at the square table with myself, celebrity interviewer. I said it, and the most beautiful, the legendary. Mamie Acosta. <laughs> peace to you, queen. Peace to you. Yes, Man. much blessings to you as well. How your day going? It's going great. I can't. E I can't even complain today. There's no need to complain. Any day above ground is a great day, so I'm having a good one. I heard that. I heard that. Yes. So, How's yours? Oh, I, I cannot complain. You know, what I mean, I established some things to help. You know, um, ensure a successful 2024. So, you know, I'm just, you know, really grateful and just. Man, I'm just grateful and grateful for the year that we've had together and yes. happy and grateful for you. Um, you know, I'm going to say the flowers to the end, but <laughs> man, you know how we do it, though. We've had a great show right here. And usually, you know, for all those that's tuning in, that's not aware of what's going on right now. Today, we are, don't have any celebrity guests or friends because we just wanted to take time right to celebrate everyone that's been on the show thus far going back all the way till we started. And when was that, Mimi? What was that, 2022? 2022, January, like yeah, this? something like that. Yeah. Man, we, we've been doing this for a minute, right? Yes, <laughs> it's been a couple of years. Love it. Yeah, and it, I'm telling y'all, it's, it's not easy neither because, you know, we are very, very busy people. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have fit into our schedule and made it happen to be able to celebrate people and to also... um just speak about just important topics around the community that anybody can relate to. So you don't have to be famous. You don't have to be in the spotlight. You don't have to be in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. um, or business world to be able to relate to the things that we discuss on this show. And um, I'm just so grateful again, to be working with you, Mimi all the time. And um, man, let's, let's kick this off and go back to the, when it all started, you know, to the beginning. Oh, let's like they go. Say. <laughs> <laughs> And what's the name of this show today, Mimi? Look, this is this is our square table right now today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just basically like we just, you know, grateful, grateful and thankful. Let's just call it that. 
<laughs> yeah, let's just call it that. Okay, this is our table on today. We are being thankful and grateful for everyone that has been on our show. And um, yeah, it's not about anybody on today, but everybody else. How about that? That's everybody right. That's right. Let's go. Absolutely. So yes. I'm going to go back to when it all started. And that was February 2024. Um, I don't know if I if I can sh can you see that or does it look crazy? Okay, oh, well, I actually changed. Can you see that or does it look? I can see it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I ain't gonna do this every flyer. Oh lord. <laughs> but but because this flyer is so because of the color scheme. And this is where it all started. I'm going to show this flyer. Okay. But basically, you know, it kicked off. Um, so shout out to Gina Hills, the, the yes. celebrity, the famous Gina Hills, a.k.a. LifeandEntertainment.com. Man, I get we get so much support from her. Um, she was one of our celebrity guests. Who else was on the show? Um, um, oh, my gosh. Look, I'm over here. I'm over here fighting with my phone and <laughs> going back. Ah, okay, look. no worries. I got you. I, I'll get put me, you get on me, get me. The next, the next, <laughs> when we talk about the next episode. So, you know, then we have um, my friend Phil Cantone, a.k.a. StreetScienceRadio.com. Make sure y'all check that out. Then we also had a lady and a friend, of, former friend of mine, old friend, <laughs> Melody Hogan, and that uh -huh. shy uh, shy love and that's yes. shy capital l-o-v little e you know what i'm saying so make sure y'all check her out she's a humanitarian in the community and she's doing some great things too proud of her but yeah wow and with the topic was basically about what where, where's that topic are you on the which which uh which flyer are you on i'm <laughs> i'm back to the oh, the the turquoise, <laughs> like it's a turquoise, it's the first one if you go all the way back to the beginning of the, the uh -huh. uh, okay. There we go. By the way, you all can follow us um on the square table. So it's the square table. Um yeah, it's just called the square table. Right. It's called the square table, is the dot square table on Instagram. Yes? Yeah, so make sure you all follow that. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, man. So, yeah, we're looking at that first turquoise. Like yes, turquoise so, right. That one was about mental health and freak accidents based on true stories. Yes, that's exactly what it was. Yes. <laughs> so you, we kicked the show off hot and very a sensitive topic and something that's, you know, that a lot of people don't feel really comfortable talking about. But we jumped mm -hmm. right into it. It came out great. And I'm grateful that, um, you know, that's where it all started because mental health is so important. And that's one of them topics, right? You can't mention enough. So, you right. know what I mean? Um, again, shout out to everyone that was on that show. And, uh, man, you know, just moving on. Just moving on. Moving on up. <laughs> yes. So, let's see. The next topic. What was the next topic? The next so, show so, the next one, it, was that the one with um with the beautiful Andrea Ward? Yes. Child abuse yes. and stalkers? Yes. Yes. So we had the beautiful Andrea Ward, film director, TV producer. She's amazing. Screenwriter, model, all that good stuff. Then we had International Skrella, my boy. He over there in the DR. Oh, we got to yeah. watch him because he's over there in the big house with all the females. We watching you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so a CEO of Blue Smoke Empire, music producer, engineer, and artist. That's our guy out there. And of course, the beautiful Renata Nicole actress model writer custom clothing line company she's got every she's just got a little bit of everything that's a hot sauce right there i yeah, love and it. she she has taken off as a comedian since that time online and she is viral and she is doing her doggone thing where she does skits and i'm so proud of her yeah um, that's one of my childhood friends by the way too you know we beautiful school since fifth grade beautiful so, seeing her grow Yes, that was a really, that was a pretty good show too because, uh, you know, we've all, you know, a lot of us have experienced that, that whole child abuse thing and stalkers. So that that was a really good show, really touching. You guys need to go back and check out our shows and the topic are very, very relevant because it's things that are still happening today. Yes. 
you know, yeah, and I, can't run away and from it. Yeah, and I'm fortunate, you know, and um, peace and my blessings and prayers to all those who have been able to overcome, you know, being a victim of child abuse or anything like that. And, you know, I pray for all those children that are still suffering and going through it and who's trapped in that that type of community yeah. or environment or, or home to where they can't escape because they're just a child. Yes. So, you know, that's, that's sad. That's what's really sad. Yeah. But yeah, like Mimi just said, please go back and check out our shows. Every show is worth doubling back for it. Every show is full of juice. Full of, full of. <laughs> you know, I love saying full. that because it really is nuggets upon mm -hmm. nuggets. You know, and then of course the amazing people that we've had on the show, you know, so. Hey, I see. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you guys know I'm going to always have my little straw. I know, it's just me. Guys, so you straws. But, we are um, doing juice. That is juice on today, guys. Okay, we're keeping it PG juice. Yeah, I'm I'm doing the apple juice today. Yes. So let me see who was next. So then we're gonna move on. And so it looked like we took a little break, you know, some um, so we went and we did a show in March. I mean, so we started February, then March, we did April. Oh no, okay. So yeah, no, we kept it going. That was May. That was the last year. Okay, so yeah, so now May, um, unfortunately, the um, five-time Emmy Award friend of mine um, and TV producer, man, um, she she really does it all. Famous host, um, activist, Sister Africa. She wasn't able to make it to that show, unfortunately. She had a funeral, I recall, that she had to mm -hmm. go to, so it was a miscommunication, but she definitely would have been there. But we did have, man, the lovely Lissa Blair, and she has her own radio show, Skyline Radio Talk Show. And we had the famous keynote speaker and founder of Minds Over Nines Gun Violence Prevention, and that's the one and only Daryl Cook. Yeah. So, so I'm glad that you know, and we had an awesome conversation that day too. Mm-hmm. We sure yeah. did. Violence so, and hate crimes. Woo. Mm, yes. This, stories, this. the stories, the stories. And let me tell you guys something. The stories that come out of people. Mm. Because you never know what somebody's going through until they have to sit down and talk about their life story. And sometimes, you know, it, it's really interesting because even on our show, the way we have established this show, it makes people just come out with their stories. And it's amazing that some of the stories you heard it here first, okay, at the square table. So you guys really need to kind of like go back and check out our shows. And, you know, if there's anything that you're, that you're dealing with, you can check out our shows. We, we're always talking resources and whatnot. And everybody has a story. So don't be, don't be shy and going back or sending us messages or even coming on our show. Make it happen. We're here. That's right. And I totally second that. Um, great message. Um, so then, you know, the next episode happened in June. So we going, we kept it going. You know, we did mm -hmm. February, um, <laughs> February, March, April, May, and now we at June. And actually in June, man, we spoke about parental jealousy of their children. And we had three awesome guests. Mm -hmm. um, one, I, um, we actually had two iconic guests on that show and a celebrity guest so that that was crazy so you know yes. she banana um friend of mine right here in chicago you know she has her own radio um she's a radio personality um um she's a a, a host of many events and you know and just you know really out there just trying to help the community in any way she can mm -hmm. so um then we and that's she banana so shout out to she bananas peace queen yes yes then all the way in the Netherlands, my friend, the one and only hip hop pioneer, LJ Wicks. And I ain't trying to, you know, show any type of too much favoritism, but it is what it is right now. <laughs> but it's just only because it's on deck. She was the first feature for a celebrity interviewer. I said the magazine, um, I said it, management, global networking magazine. And so that's that's LJ right there. And I'll just keep this on deck because this was the first. This is where it all started. Yeah. So it was a jumbo poster on my 
my fireplace mantle here at home. So that's just what it is. So shout out to LJ. And she's been rapping since 1982. Let's give it up for that. That's crazy. Yes. Yes. She's amazing. Yeah. And then this is what's crazy, though. So um, I don't really, you know, we all about cross promotion, right? So mm-hmm. this gentleman right here, OG Cocaine, is an icon. And before Nate Dogg was doing those hooks and harmonizing, mm-hmm. this brother right here was the first. He did this before Nate Dogg. He inspired, actually, Nate Dogg. And he is um, a hip-hop pioneer himself, singer, songwriter, and he's the most collaborated hip-hop artist in the world, ever. Wow. He signed with Easy e back in 87, and... um. And this is what's odd when I say the cross um, cross promotion. Really? Mm-hmm. Our last guest on from her point of view talk show mm-hmm. was his daughter. Was his daughter? Wow. So that's yes. what's crazy. Yeah. You know I'm saying so now everything just continues to come full circle. I love God in the universe and just grateful for His support and trusting us with His His precious little girl. Yeah. Because you know the one that makes the music who's mm-hmm. followed His footsteps. So. Um. Yeah, so that that was really hot, but yeah, it was really all about that that topic, and everyone had such a great um opinion and message to share on um, when it came to jealousy, and you know of their children, and that's what's crazy. Like mm-hmm. why, like the even the fact that we have to talk about that jealousy, that's insane. That's yeah, that don't even make no sense. Yeah. No. That shouldn't even be a topic of discussion, really. But we it's something you got to talk about because it's real, unfortunately. That's right. It sure is. Yeah. How are you going to have a seed and be jealous of someone that came from you, who's a piece of you? Right. Right. If anything, you know, join the party. Hey, what can I do? Let me stick my <laughs> finger in there and make something happen of it, you know, however I can help. Not be in a place where you're hating the rise of your child. What? But. Right. It does exist. Exists, but don't make no sense. <laughs> right. Right. Yep. So then, you know, um, moving on, moving on to July, my birthday month. Yay. So, <laughs> this was two days before my birthday, which is July the 27th. I can't forget this show. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, I know you had something to do that particular show, and it's all good. But we did actually feature Lily, the goddess mm-hmm. who's mm-hmm. actually um the um co-host of from her point of view talk show been there since season one season mm-hmm. two we now have season three shout out right. to giselle who's the um her co-host this season yes and man lily does everything if y'all don't know who lily is by being on this platform y'all been under a rock because lily <laughs> the goddess yeah she Yes, she is. And she is definitely awesome. She's a film director, model, TV host, multi-artist, yeah. mermaid performer, recording artist. She's just Reiki master and beautician. This little chick right here. And I'm going to tell you, she's at her, uh, her energy is a freaking amazing. Like she just she will light up a room by just walking into it. Don't even have to say nothing yet. And then when you hear that voice, oh, you just you just want to you just want to eat her up. She's awesome. I absolutely adore her. I, I got the, I, I was blessed to be a part of, you know, season two um, from her point of view. And I, 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 I giggled every time she would come on because she would just come on with all these different looks. And she's amazing. I absolutely love her. Yes. Yeah. And um, again, not about favoritism, but hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, um, I love Lily so much and just appreciate her. Um, today I actually checked out one of her new videos and songs. It's called Difficult Mindset. <clears throat> and it's a fierce album. And I'm trying to tell you when I say it's hot, when I say this girl is a superstar, mm-hmm. this girl is a superstar. Every Love. time I hear her music, uh, you know, it's like you it's not that I underestimate her, it's just like mm-hmm. but yet still she continues to surprise me. Like, wow, like this is really, really good. Like you need to yeah. be on the radio at all times and mainstream so check out yes. Lily the Goddess all the time you know she got a new song called Difficult Mindset it's on YouTube right now mm-hmm. with a video but yeah so going back to the um to the show real quick 
man, we got the famous taco. We had the famous taco there. And man, taco here in Chicago is the man. A he big said, deal, hey, huh? You know he's a big deal. He's really a big deal. You know, what I'm saying? he's not a big deal only because he has like four hundred thousand followers on Instagram, but he's mm -hmm. a big deal because he's really out here making great music as well. That dude's a superstar, um, in his own right. He used to be signed with Sony, and um, man, you know, he's a national recording artist. You know, what more can I say? Stage yes. coordinator, and um. He's put out about three or four albums, and his last album is called Underrated. Mm -hmm. And every album the man has put out is just, is, is that heat. I'm trying to tell you, is that heat. And he sells out all his shows, too. That's wow. what's rare about Taco. Like, going back to, like, last four years, he's sold out every show. Even the House of Blues. Yes. The House See, of no. Blues on a Thursday <laughs> night. He sold out the House of Blues on a Thursday <laughs> by not being a mainstream artist. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, no, see, and you absolutely love that. That means that the city is definitely supporting him. Yeah. You know, yeah. So I love yeah. that. I love that for him. Yeah, and then we had the lovely Deasha Marie, who's actually the um, first co-host of Beside Lily on um, From Her Point of View talk show. And so that was a really awesome show. She's a um, award-winning pageant model, um, TV show host, along with um, an event host as well so mm -hmm. um i'm just grateful for her and you know proud of her and you know she's continuing to do her modeling thing and acting as well so you know shout out to deasia mm -hmm. Marie. Mm -hmm. yep and so um what was the the topic was the fear of failing and we really got deep 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 mm -hmm. into that and i remember um Lily really stood out. She had a um, y'all gotta go back and see it. I'm not gonna repeat it. Y'all gotta go back and see the show. But <laughs> she, you know, everyone has something very meaningful and to say to participate with the topic. But I remember her telling a, a very sensitive topic of something that happened in her past, and she shared that when it came to the fear of felon. So y'all gotta go back and watch the show mm -hmm. if you want to see what that was. So I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> the show just be off the chain, like. It's just crazy. Yeah, and talking. you never know. You never know. It starts out with us just laughing and having a great time. Before you know it, you know, like me, I get so emotional because the stories, man, the stories, you know, and sometimes I just stay back and I just stay quiet and, you know, I'm trying to, you know, do the little, ain't nobody going to see, ain't nobody going to see. <laughs> but it's right. it's an amazing show. And like I said, it, it really, it really is. And not just because it's my boy, I said it's show, it's because. He has some Maybe amazing too. people with amazing <laughs> stories, <laughs> you know. And the, sto the stories is what it was, what brings the show to life. You know, it's a no nonsense show. No, absolutely. Um, Once you get on this square, it's on. Man, when you see us inside of here, right here, that right three six, <laughs> the four corners, it's up. It's up. It's definitely up. <laughs> so, so moving on to August, that was July. Yes, ma'am. That was July 27th. So now yes. on to August. Please tell us about what happened in August. August. Oh, wow. So there were mass shootings everywhere around that time. We definitely had like some really interesting conversations. Um, yeah. Of course, we had the beautiful Anissa. Is, is it Anissa or Anissa Davis? Yeah. You know, Anissa. I will mispronounce somebody's name in two seconds and I'm so sorry, Anissa. So she's no. a published author, business entrepreneur. Um, she has luxury oils. She, uh, she's a distributor. Oh, gosh, yes, I remember her. Motivated speaker and a victim's advocate. Like, amazing yes. little chick. Yes. Amazing yeah, little chick. I'm, I'm, I may add real quick in reference mm -hmm. to Anissa. She was advocating to, and this is so brave of her. Her mm -hmm. father, unfortunately, was murdered. He was a big NFL star for the Raiders back in the 70s, and he was murdered. And she has used her life to discover and find out what happened to her dad while managing to be successful in her own business. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, what, what burden? Like, I can't imagine how what type of burden that is to be able to yes. take that on. And that challenge to find out who killed your dad, like, and, a, and you're just a little girl and you grow up to be a woman and you won't give up on this, like, you're going right. to find out what the truth is, like, and so, you know, she still have been pushing her, her whole life. So, you yes. know, God bless her for that. Yes, yes, yes. Be with her. 
Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Then, of course, we got Mel Love. Yeah, the legend. CEO. Legend. Yes, yes. CEO of Link to Link Worldwide, founder of Follow the Flavor TV show, formerly with Bad Boy Records, recording artist, songwriter, entrepreneur, co owner of Gigi's Nail and Beauty Lounge. Yeah, and Harlem, Harlem boy. <laughs> yes. And um, real quick, if I may, um, excuse me, Mimi, mm -hmm. but Mel, this is what's crazy. Like, and this is like all of our guests. Like, you know, like sometimes you all, everyone don't know who we be having featured right on these mm -hmm. shows, but Mel is actually viral right now when it comes. If you search Mel Love mm -hmm. because of this whole P Diddy scandal or whatever is going on with Diddy mm -hmm. or whatever like that, uh, or you know, um, acquisitions. You know, he used to work with Bad Boy. You know, so he was an intern back before Bad Boy became huge. Right. And so that's what's so unique. And he actually named Notorious B.I.G. from Bingy Smalls. He came up with the name Notorious B.I.G. He's finally getting his flowers and everything. And, and I'm grateful for that. You know what I'm yes. saying? And um, so, you know, happy, I'm, I'm happy for Mel, you know, because yes. he's done so much early, early in entertainment. And mm -hmm. now finally, you know, the truth always comes to light. And so now his um his truth and mm -hmm. his past, the things that he participated in and contributed in hip hop is finally he's getting his flowers. So I'm I'm happy for Mel. Yes, very much so. That's one thing, boy. When it comes to music, it's all dependent yeah. on where you at in life. You could either yeah. be stuck or not, but sometimes it takes decades for folks to get their flowers. That's why it's important for us to give each other our flowers now, like now, yeah. you know. You got these youngsters around you coming up in this industry. Get them the flowers now, please. Don't wait until something happened to them or later on down the line. Anyway, yeah. Leave yeah, it up to me. You know, I go on and on and on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I totally agree with you. <laughs> yes. And then we had the beautiful CC, baby. Yeah, CC. Shout out to CC. Shout out to CC, founder of Air Hustle 411, a media and marketing company, CEO, founder of Perfect. 10 notary and director of operations the clear club yes man okay. shout out to cc he's another legend um yeah she he's um has put on huge huge events here in um, chicago um maybe even outside of chicago i'm not sure but i know in chicago mm -hmm. she's where she's brought out thousands and thousands upon thousands of people and she has grown her platform to over a million subscribers um, on her 411 ear hustle page and that was even at the time so that we did this show so mm -hmm. that's really cool you know but okay. she's you know she's a person obviously who grinds and go get it she's a go-getter she's a go-getter like, hey, we have any shows go-getters you know what i'm saying yes yes but um definitely mass shooting is such a sensitive topic another sensitive topic like yeah um unfortunately you know we just it's and it never stops unfortunately like we just recently had another mass shooting and peace and blessings and prayers to all those victims um and i'm so sorry that i can't recall at the because it happens so often mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard to keep up but mm -hmm. yeah we just mm -hmm. recently had another one where i believe it was 25 wounded 14 died um based on my memory and man mm -hmm. it's just awful so yeah just um keep everyone in prayers who's victims of this and who has to go through these things? It's just terrible. Yes. But definitely go back and look at this show. It was definitely worth um going back to because you know some things said that you know maybe can help you if anyone in the future may be in that position to help, you know, survive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. So true. And that was August, that was August twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. So and, and so now these, um, some of the people that's on September 29th, that was the next show. I've definitely, you definitely got to go for it right here. Mimi, <laughs> these are, you, you know, you know, two of these people better than I do. And they're great uh, people. Yes, they are. Yes, they September are. 29th. September 29th. So the topic at the time was for your business colleague, but staying professional. Yeah. Um, Basically, got the hots for your business colleague, but you got to stay professional. Like, you know, you be looking. 
Like people right, look exactly. At, That's what it is. Out. Like you know, you look at your colleague up and down, but it's like, damn, I got to keep it professional. But I sure would like to, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. So here we have my girl Crystal. So for you guys that don't know, I'm actually um, a host on another show called CB and the Boys, and um, yes. and uh, Crystal, I'll honey. CB and the boys. Yes, yeah, CB and the boys shout out to my people over there. So y'all yeah, just had that, a show last night, right? We just had a show last night, man. Look, you know, let me tell you what I love about let me tell you what I love about this and that, okay? Because this is this as and that is that. So this over here at the square table is one thing. Well, we just keep it professional, we just love and it's just it's awesome. And it's just <laughs> it's just one, it's 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 we have a great time here. And then right. over there, honey. It's so much stuff that happens over there. So we just got to, we just got to, we keep, keep it where it's at. You guys got to come through on Wednesdays and check it out. Okay. Just like you got to come here and check out the square table on a third Thursday of uh, every month or the last, the last Thursday of every month. Yes. Okay. Yes. Same thing. Okay. It's, it's a lot of love, but yeah. So Crystal is the chief executive officer, executive director of CBN, the boys radio show. Um, she's into photography and former videographer and graphic designer. She's getting better and better at graphic designing, guys. So, look, look, yeah. look, look, at, look at the team. Look at the team, boy. Them right there. And then, <laughs> of course, we got my boy Roger. Roger is he does a little bit of everything for CB and the boys. He's not just no CFO and all this good old stuff. He does it all. Okay, he has a lot to say, and sometimes we got to put a whole lot of disclaimer out for this one right here. But yes, he's a black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu champion former mm -hmm. arena football player and former track and field athlete. He does all the, all the good letting us know what we need to do with our bodies on the show. So yeah, Roger is, is one, he's something else, something else in the world. And the beautiful Felice. Yeah, shout out to Felice. Yes, founder of the Orchestration Radio, Stand Up For Kids, Chicago, Determined Radio, and has a management group. So yes, yeah. huge shout out to Felice, beautiful. Yep, and she manages the the talented singer Love Child and um Elijah Beats as well. So shout out to all of them and her team and you know yes. everything that she's doing. And I appreciate her, you know, supporting the show too. And along with Roger, of course, Crystal. Yes. <laughs> yes, honey. Oh, but yeah, it got juicy on that show, didn't it? Yeah, it gets <laughs> it's a, it gets a little too juicy sometimes. We, you can't even shut it down. You can't shut down so much juice. You just got to try to bypass it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be trying to keep it professional and keep, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, even I, yeah. sometimes, you know, you know, I, I, um, and I appreciate you so much for coming through because you sure know, do show your little love. Sometimes you would pop in there late, like, look, what are you doing <laughs> while you working or you just, you just pop in whenever you can. So I appreciate you for coming through when you do. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I got to double back and, and see the show from last night. I haven't checked been able to check it out yet but um i already know it was off the chain because y'all be you all know, the way you know what it was pretty so much energy on that show it wasn't it, we know we've had other shows with a whole lot of energy last night we were just chill it was just a chill you know we had some sparks of sparks but then it was just it was just a chill show you know you would think that it would be like a five four three two one fireworks it really wasn't that right. i was expecting more but you know it's okay because you can't always bring fireworks out of people you know Y'all was worn out. Y'all been partying all year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> right. <Y 'all> tired. <laughs> you know, George was just chilling, you know, with his little, <laughs> with his love. We just got to leave them folks alone, okay? I love him, though. I love yeah, him. Shout out to George. Shout out to George. Shout out to George. But, yeah. Yes. But now, um, so, yeah, that was, a, that was a fun show. You know, we kind of switched it up on the topics because, you know, like everything can't be all the way serious, you know, saying and sad, right. and, you know, like the mass shooting and child abuse, unfortunately, and, you know, like we had to do something to help mm -hmm. create some smiles. So, you know, that's where, why we went in that, that direction. Right. Mm. Right. But yeah, with that being said, then we moved on to the month of October. October, Man. baby. Day after my birthday. October 27th. That's her birthday month. October, October 26th is my birthday. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it's and, st still so turn around and get up in here. And the that, battle. Mm -hmm. oh no, I'm sorry, please go ahead. The battle between success and the social life, Ooh. Yeah. that's hard. 
Yes. That is too. That is you know it, daily and battle. I know it. <laughs> daily battle. Daily yes. battle. Yes, it sure is. So, of course, here's another wonderful crystal entrepreneur, yeah. founder of her catering service called Meals in Heels, published model and chef. Can you imagine being served in heels? Yes, honey. <laughs> that like one it. right like there. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah, out yeah. to Crystal. Shout out to, shout crystal. Out to crystal. Yes. Yeah, we had back-to-back -back crystals. I didn't even notice that. Mm -hmm. I didn't <laughs> notice either until just now. <laughs> right, that's dope. But yeah, shout out to Crystal. She has some meals in here. She out there in the ATL with you. So yeah, she's doing her thing. Yeah, proud of her. Very much so. Hmm. But yeah, and then you know who else we have on that show? We have mm -hmm. Michelle. We had the beautiful Michelle, entrepreneur, U.S. Army vet, owner and CEO of BCNI LLC, um, CLO for a nonprofit organization, life coach, and future civil rights attorney. Yes, that girl is a survivor. Yes, a she is. A survivor. She's been through so much. Um, yes. And I'm just so proud and grateful for her. And always, uh, my prayers go out to her. And she just, yes. you, know, you know, she's so tough. She's very, 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 very tough. Very tough yeah. and very amazing. Very inspiring. Because despite of all that she goes through and, you know, us strong so-called independent women. We go a hundred <laughs> miles an hour for a lot of reasons. We got a lot to uh, we got a lot to prove, a lot to show, and this one right here, boy, whoo, whoo. yes, a ball of energy. She will let you know. She'll let you have it in a very professional way. Yeah, <laughs> very talented. Yeah. Yes, very much so. And then we we have Mr. Wally. Yes, military Wally vet. Yes, awesome, award-winning member of Recording Academy Grammys. Executive producer for Urban Grind TV, management for legendary uh, Jazzo, COO, um, Mary Jane's Secret Garden, Cannabis Farm. Yes, sir. Yes. Shout out I, to Wally Locker III. He's given me, share his platform with me. He has a award, 23 year, 22 maybe, you know what I'm saying, award winning station. He wins an award every single year. Wow. He does his his TV station radio show is that crazy. It's like, it's that good. Like, and he has opened the door for so many artists throughout Chicago and now abroad, you know, people mm -hmm. even come out of town now to be on this show, Urban Grind TV. So it's dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so shout out to Wally and the whole team at Urban Grind TV. Salute. Yes. Yes. Salute. That's right. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> and look at me getting love on the IG. Y'all got to go to the square table on IG, okay? T H E dot square table. Because I didn't even know that I was getting so much love like this. Oh, this special. <laughs> if you say nothing at the end of the show, I got it because I got other love right here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and moving right along, moving right along, MIA baby. We got December. Wait a minute. Did we miss a flyer? Did no, we miss a day? Working. October. October. Oh yeah, then, so that was because it fell on Thanksgiving. So that's, that's what, what it was, so, right? Yeah, last year it fell on Thanksgiving, the last Thursday, so we just skipped third November. Yes, yes, yes. So that's right. We had to eat. Had to eat. Be with the family. You know what I'm talking we about. We had to eat. <laughs> yeah, we got to eat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, and we, then, let me see yeah. this show. Make it easy. Make it look easy when really our jobs are hard. Yes, I remember this day so much because I was traveling. I was riding through the streets. I got off on the wrong stop. I'm um, taking the damn Amtrak, and mm -hmm. um, I had a long, long walk. Let's just say that. And I'm trying to go live, try to hold the show, try to do my part on the show. But um, yes, yeah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it looks crazy. it looks so good because you just walk in doing your thing and we over here trying <laughs> to I'm trying to keep it all like in this square right here. But yes, <laughs> I remember. I sure do. We had a great time yeah. that you made it happen. <laughs> no, absolutely. And um, if we could start with, you know, Ashley legs for days, you know, what I'm saying she out there in the Florida, you know, what I'm saying she'd be going from Florida, to Chicago. Shout out to her. Um, mm -hmm. Very very talented 
you know, um, where she at, where she at. So yes, actually, Lex for days, radio personality on my radio, Chicago, the Skyline radio show, published runway model featuring video yes. vixen, makeup artist, stylist, actress, comedian, and promoter. And if that yes. ain't a one-stop shop for everything you need right there. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> she'll make it happen. Huge shout out to Ashley. Yeah, shout out to Ashley. Yeah. Um, then we also had my brother, you know, who I actually had brought up, you know, while we was talking earlier about CB and the boys. Mm -hmm. he, he flashed across the screen and that's actually um, celebrity photographer, legendary owner and founder of DMP Magazine, official photographer for Horseshoe Casino in Hammond which is one of the biggest casinos and venues out here. Um, okay. And he's the, their professional photographer. And I'm talking about the one and only Dean Chi-Town Teddy Bear. <laughs> is what he goes <laughs> by. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Got that teddy bear looking. Leave him right there where he at. Yeah. Shout out. Yes, and yeah, shout out to Dean. And then, you know, I say this with a smile and I say this, you know, in sadness as well, but we also featured published author of Trees of Righteousness, inventor, radio personality, host of Eyes Can See podcast, spoken word artist, poet, and recording artist, the one and only, the legendary, featuring Empress Eam Sharon. And man, you know, she that was such a great conversation. I say, I say with a smile and sadness because unfortunately she lost her battle with cancer. Um, earlier this around the summertime, I think it was mm -hmm. like back in July, somewhere around then June. Yeah. And so, you know, but she went super hard and just such a lovely spirit. And, you know, I'm just grateful that you all was able to connect. And, you know, yes. that show was really you all doing a lot of talking because, yes. um, he had connection issues and mm -hmm. both Meg for days, they both had connection issues. So they wasn't really on the episode. So right. it was really just you and empress having a great conversation about yes. the topic i'm getting goosebumps under my clothes as i speak about her yeah yeah she was awesome yes yes she was she was wow. and is because she's still a bright spirit in the universe no absolutely so Definitely yeah start. yeah yeah amazing amazing chick Woo. yes and um uh, it it's just unbelievable but you know um when I speak about her, I can't help but to, you know, speak about a young lady that lost her life to cancer the other day. And her name is Donna Bella. Mm -hmm. And um she's a fashion designer and um get into like clothing and everything like that and you know, just a speaker, motivational speaker, but she lost her her battle with cancer just two days ago, unfortunately. No, oh. what's today? The 20, today's the twenty eighth. The twenty right? eighth. Mm -hmm. No, she just passed yesterday. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I was in her my story. I didn't even know her personally. But it's just like anytime I hear about anyone passing from cancer, it's like it always reminds you of the people that you know yes. who lost that battle, unfortunately. So mm -hmm. you know, shout out to her life as well because you yes. know everyone's life is important. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so shout out to my friend Empress Eve Sharon, you know, always love you. And um I'm just grateful to have the pleasure to know her and network with her endlessly like you know we did so many things together mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. it, it start making me teary eyed if I, mm. I go to how much we did together you know when it comes to this business yes but um but yeah but shout out to all of our guests and you know thanks for all the support but y'all definitely want to go back and you know you know learn a little bit more about Sharon and you know and that mm -hmm. great conversation she had with my friend Mimi <laughs> yes yes we sure did. We we laughed. We had a great too. time. Sorry, y'all really connected. I yes, y'all connected really good. Yes, it, it was so organic. It was so nice, you know. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I keep so. it moving before I get emotional. <laughs> keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yes. Yeah. Keep it moving. So yeah, we going to January two thousand and twenty three. Yes. This year has been amazing. And what we Great. talked about then, learning process of self-acceptance of who you are. Man, like, 
I don't want to interrupt you, but that is so powerful. Like, think about how powerful that is. Mm -hmm. And that's how we kick the year off. Self-acceptance yes. of who you are, accepting who you are as you we as we prepare for this mm -hmm. year. Like that is so awesome. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah, it would be a great 2024 kickoff too, because at the end of the day, we go through yeah. this at the beginning of every year. Yeah. It's like this is who I am, this is what I want to do, this is how it's gonna be. And then somewhere along the train ride, it either goes up or down or it stays neutral. And then the following year, you go back to the same thing. This is where I'm at, this is where I'm going. Anyway, yeah. So that's right, that's right. <laughs> Man, once again, <laughs> you know, we had some great celebrity guests, you know, I mean, um, uh, um, yes. one iconic guest who wasn't able to actually make it. Um, mm -hmm. we had some miscommunication with the dates, and that being Black Ice, mm -hmm. DeAndre Hawthorne. But that dude is, is he's a legendary, iconic, you know, here in Chicago when it comes mm -hmm. to poetry. Um, and if I may, you know, he's an award winning American poet, international spoken word artist, activist, and founder of Poet, which is people of extraordinary talent radio show and poetry award show that he's been doing for many many years mm -hmm. so shout out black ice though still much love brother all day yes one love we got to probably get him on the show yeah we still got to bring him back he got to be on this show yes definitely who was the lovely ladies on the show that day so we had shanta renee smith media personality tv shows and movies actress uh, she has a movies on Tubi, writer, published model, and camera operator. Okay, Shante, I see you, girl. Yes, and if I may um, interject, mm -hmm. she has great movies. She has many, 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 many movies. Like, she she viral. Let's just say she viral on, you, mm -hmm. on Tubi right now. Okay, if you nice. look up Shante, Renee, mm -hmm. she is she a hard person to catch up to. Let's put it like that. Now she hard to reach because she she out there when it comes to these movies. Okay. Um, okay. And, and the movies is off the chain too. Like they really hot movies. So yeah. you can maybe check her. She's a great actress. Really great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check her out myself. Proud of her. Very proud mm -hmm. of her. And then yeah. we have Kiara Kiara Curry. Yes. Owner of Kiara Curry Body Spa, Mobile Spa. Uh huh. Body sculpting. Training, beauty, and cosmetics, and teen mother. Mm. Yes, love it. Yes, love shout it. Out to her and appreciate her support. You know, what I mean, that was our first time networking, but you know, she came through and you know shared her great opinions as well to yes. um to the topics of just self acceptance of how she did what she did, and along mm -hmm. with Shante and along with us. So that yes. was really great. So. So y'all gotta travel back back in time to January twenty sixth, mm -hmm. and um, actually, January twenty sixth, y'all, that's my sister's birthday, my oldest sister Shelly, <laughs> and that's freeway to Real Rick Ross's birthday too. I just know that. So you know, shout out to them too. That's what it makes me think of when I see that date. Right, you know, certain dates just bring certain things back. Memories, to right? Of course, of mm -hmm. course, and it's coming around in a few weeks. So yeah. Yeah, oh man, I'm trying to tell you. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Um, but yeah, let's you know. So let's see who was after that. Um, we went. We so skipped a couple of months. Yeah, so we took off of February, mm -hmm. March, and April. And April, uh, we had mm -hmm. a nice. We had a nice little break. Three we had break. a nice break. <laughs> but when we came back. Man, Ooh. we we applied the pressure, and that's applied. It was under pressure, but can't show it. That's how we applied the pressure. We came back with a topic saying, "Under pressure, but can't show it." What a topic that was! Yes, that was. Yes, you just got to be right here, right here. Yes, that was May twenty fifth, May twenty fifth, and we had some great guests. Um, if you don't mind, you know, please tell them. Ooh, yes, we had my brother, my 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 business partner. When I say Sylvester Darnell, I spell his name out with hashtag Sylvester Darnell and all exclamations, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> and I will yell it out across the room, but Sylvester Darnell, he's amazing. He's a writer, content creator. Um, he got the Best Director Award winner 
Um, he's a great designer, guys. All that uh, his little outfit. If you you guys actually need to go into our Instagram and check out that May twenty fifth flyer, okay, and check out that uh, that outfit that Sylvester Darnell is wearing, honey. That thing is on fire, okay. And he's got a whole little name brand behind it, Lay Cool, and um and it's about to be on. Uh, anyway, so entrepreneur, modern day Renaissance man, like. When they get him to come and speak and get him to come do his thing, honey, he shows up and shows out. Amazing human being, amazing person to know. Um, the life of, of the party, great videographer as well. So yeah. if you want your, you want to get your little movie going or whatever, reach out to Mimi Acosta and I will make it happen for you for a great price too. Okay, we don't play about yeah, our business right. over. So, uh -huh. <laughs> Put a little yeah, plug right. up in there for for Sylvester Darnell. Yes. Shout out. Shout out, Sylvester. Yeah, shout out and salute to that brother, you know what I'm saying? My first time encountering him, but man, he was awesome and definitely a renaissance man and that fit, he is lit. You know what I'm saying? It's yes. litty. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be an ambassador for if he ever need an ambassador, you know, pass that on. Let him know. I, I yes. Like I could like see you. I could see you. I could see you rocking it too. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's my style right there. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I know that. I, I actually have seen that too. So yeah, yeah, I, I can see you in that. Yes. So, and of course, look, I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try that name. I'm going to move. I'm going to just move over to the left. Oh okay. yeah, no problem. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so spoken word, performance poet, fine artist, the analog soul experience, seven time published author, advi advisor or poet. I'm sorry, activist. Hold on a second. I got a whole lot going on over here. My eyes ain't even letting me. Activist at POET, International and Broadway Actress, Assistant for National Spoken Word Awards, Analog yes. Soul Sightings. Yes, Kylie Brown, AKA. Shout yes. out to Kylie. Man, you know what I'm saying? Um, Huge shout out. Such, such, a, such a talent. Such a talent. You know what I mean? Multi talented. Yes. Um, Man, such a laid, she has a laid back attitude, but when that camera lights, lights camera turn on, yes. she's a whole energy. Like it is, she, she has this thing she does in her poetry with Eartha Kit, mm -hmm. and I just leave it at that. Like where she start talking in that voice, that Eartha Kit cat yes, voice yes. You know, from Catwoman, and she incorporated that into her style. Like it's just, she's off the chain. She's different. Yes. She's definitely yeah, different. She's amazing, though. She was amazing on the show. It was just really such an honor just to be like in her, just talking to her. She's just so different. You know, it's like we yeah. were talking before the show. And then as soon as the, as soon as we hit, as soon as it was her turn to speak, it was like, whoa. Yeah. Deep thinking. You know? Yes. Very deep. Yeah. Love it. And then we also featured Neo Soul singer, songwriter, spoken word artist, Lyricist, actress, writer, and runway fashion model, Masha Vu Wilson. And um, Masha Vu is the sister of Giselle, who's the new host, um, co host on From Her Point of View. So they're sisters. So yeah. Masha Vu's been on this platform for a couple of times and she's performed a lot of my events as well, okay. along with Analog Soul. So I'm grateful for her and um, her support. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm sure she got another show coming up. So make sure y'all follow her too. Masha Vu. Masha Vu. That's what it is. I, I would, I, 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 honey, I would have messed up that whole name. And it's such a beautiful name. I had to let you have it. <laughs> no, it took me, despite I booked her a couple of times, whatever, it took me a couple of times to get the name right. Like I was saying her <laughs> name is still wrong. Like it just is a tongue twister, kind of like it's yes. playing man game. I yes. was saying some other things. I don't want to start saying the wrong way when I start going back to the old way, but it's Masha Vu. <laughs> That's Masha how Vu. you pronounce it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So shout mm -hmm. out to her. Yes, you shout out. Her, her too. Yeah, so that was man, that was um such a great topic. Under yes. pressure, but can't show it. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's just about maintaining, you know, I mean um, and that's an everyday, that's one of those daily battles you, you sometimes we under pressure with um yes. family, you know, with a work, career, mm -hmm. you know, um, with just different things, you know, I mean. You could be in traffic and under pressure to try to make it to work on time. That's pressure. You right. Know, saying you under pressure because you you in trouble. You you know saying your attendance is um you know, 
young. You know what I'm saying? You be late one more time, you might lose this job. It's pressure. That's you right. There's it's so many different things where you can feel that that anxiety or that pressure in life that mm-hmm. you got to find a way to maintain and just give it up to God. That's all mm-hmm. I can say. Yes. That is true. Right. I'm with you on that. I mean, you can have a flat tire, rain, snow, sleet, hill, all kinds of things happen. But you get into the yeah. building one minute before the pressure is on. And you still have to be like this. Hey, everyone. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> but you just went through. Yeah, that's it. Right. Yes. <laughs> Counted me out, didn't you? Didn't think I was going to make it today. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Y'all was talking about me. I know y'all was talking about but I'm here. Hey. Hey, everybody. Right. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Let me go in and, you know, get myself back right and I'll be right out. But, <laughs> Take yeah. a sad bit. And everything. Right. <laughs> Man. Yes. But yeah, moving on because we still have a few more, a uh, couple more shows left. Yes. Um, so yeah. Wow. Wow. June this... 29th. Yes, June 29th. Awesome sauce. Step parents. Yeah. One parent, no parents, or foster home. And mm. this was such a deep show. Yeah, so I'm having flashbacks right now. I'm having flashbacks right now. Like that was Yes. Man. A huge shout out to Lady Knight. Yeah. Published author, media producer, host of the Nightlife, co-host of Spicy Nights, and the B Zone podcast. Shout out Lady Knight. Yes, yeah, shout out her out. Tamara, you know, aka Tamara. Yes. Nice, you know, peace queen. Appreciate Another it. one with a name like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I would want to say Tamara, but it's Tamara. <laughs> yeah, Tamara. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, she's okay. so talented too. Lovely spirit. Yes, very much so. Okay, Cabezas Crilly. 40 plus year yeah. experience as bilingual TV actress, director, theater actress, Broadway actress, anything mm-hmm. goes, and TV commercial personality. Yes. Superstar. This lady right here, okay? <laughs> you got to give her all her flowers right now, this second, okay? This amazing lady. <laughs> yes. She has a sassy personality too. I love it. I, I love it. Yes, honey. <laughs> When she says it, you just have to be like, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, she she brought that um authority to the show. Some yeah, she did. But yeah, yes. shout out to uh, to Miss Creeley. Mm-hmm. Give a shout out. Yes. Then we had As Is. Man. Recording artist, writer, TV show actor. Exit web series movie star, movie actor lead in the film Vulture City One, Two, and Three, and I heard they coming out with four, perhaps. So mm-hmm. you know, keep a look out for that. And that dude is a great actor. But um, you know, again, it's like every show, we always have someone that you know has a story that just is so touching, and you know, it's just like whatever their experience may be, everyone's story is deep. But his is what I felt like that show really stood out, you know, his experience. And um, yes. I'm glad that, and I'm grateful that he shared that because not everybody feel comfortable sharing the type of information he did. So y'all got to go back to that show and look it up because that's the only way you're going to know because I'm not going to tell. <laughs> I'm not going to tell either because we don't kiss and tell over him. That's right. <laughs> but so, man, it, yes. was such, it, was, it was so deep what he said, the things he was saying. Yes, yes. I think he had us all like, ooh, yeah. yes. I remember. I remember like it was yesterday. Awesome individual. Shout out as is. Yeah, and man, that was June 29th. How how was that like six months ago? I know, right? <laughs> like that don't even make sense, right? <laughs> it doesn't, but it was. It sure yeah, that's was. Crazy. This, this time be flying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Salute to as is and everyone on that show, definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, yeah, now we was back in July again. You know, what back saying? in July, July twenty-seventh. Yeah. yeah, and oddly it fell two days again before my birthday. I don't know how that happened, 
but <laughs> June twenty seventh, July twenty seventh. Um. So yeah, so man, we had what was we talking about? Prescription drugs and the side effect addiction to prescription drugs and side effect. Yes. Um, that was um another topic that you know was so needed and to be continued mm-hmm. to spoken about because it's a um a huge we have a lot of um people that's addicted to these prescription drugs and you know yes um there's people that's really strung out and you know have overdose and this is something that you know maybe by hearing this show and things to talk about can save a life mm-hmm. that's what it's about we're trying to save lives over here definitely definitely and at the time, at that time, we had the beautiful Mickey Starr. She's an upcoming artist, R&B artist, amazing little chick. Okay, professional yes. singer, published model, dancer, and TV movie actress. Go ahead, Mickey Starr. Huge shout out to you, baby girl. Yeah, and so and much success, honey. Her little rise, her rise, honey. She got some powerful music. So I'm looking yeah, forward to I hearing wish- what she has in the future. Likewise, I wish her the best. And I remember this was right before her birthday. Cause she yes. was still a, she was still a baby. She was only eighteen, I want to say, and she was on her way to nineteen, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, I want to, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, she's still, she's still, she's still under. She can't drink just yet. <laughs> right, right, yeah, she's definitely still under twenty. Hope you ain't out there <laughs> drinking with that. Okay, Auntie Mimi's in the building. No matter what, I still got an eye over you, little girl. <laughs> Such a beautiful thing. Yes, and then of course we had the beautiful and talented Tanika Allen, aka Twix. Yes. CEO of yes. Twix in the Mix Productions, host of Wind Down Show, and TMP Village member. Yes, absolutely. Shout out to Twix out there in LA holding it down. Yes. And what about that, Mike? <laughs> Man, that brother Mike. That brother Mike, he. he uh, once again, you know, there's always somebody that um takes, you know, takes the stage, yes. you know, and, you know, finds a way, you know, their stories is just so deep. It's like, you know, you just be your mouth, be a jar, you know, it's crazy, yes. but he, um, it's called, what is that? Klein fit, flitter. Flint, Felter. Is it Klein Felter syndrome? Yeah, we're going to go with that. Yes. <laughs> Kleinfelter syndrome survivor, XSY third gender, the 82nd airborne in the United States Army. So you already know. Yes, right. Salute to yes. Mike. Salute to Mike, honey. Mike P. Yeah, Mike I is a great that. piece of work. Loved having him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and his stories were so deep. And, you know, it was an educational yes. lesson. You know, we learned more about, you know, chromosomes and things and how that, um, and how that can affect the person's personality. Like some yes. people don't know by just having that extra chromosome can make one, um, mm-hmm. you know, live a whole different type of lifestyle. Yes. And so I'm glad that he was able to manage his, um, you know, being um, a person with an extra chromosome mm-hmm. and, you know, he able to manage and, you know, get control of his life because, you know, it was very challenging in the beginning until he found out what the problem was. Yes. Yes. So but yeah, another show, so, definitely another show to look at so you can get more insight on that from a real person. It's one thing when we read things and we look up stuff on the internet and you read stuff and it's like, oh, okay, that's what it is. But when you hear the story from somebody that's really, really going through it, been through it, knows what it is, you know, and educating us on it because it's happening to them. Like that is mm, amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Definitely appreciate everyone that was on this episode. Yes. Great, great. So that was that was July. That was July. Again, we, um, so it seems that oh yeah, so this is what happened with this one. So it says September seventh, but this was actually our August show. Um, but you know, because we have two shows in September mm-hmm. and one at the beginning. So this was really August, but we did it the first week of September. That's what it was. Back. That's right. I remember we had two shows that month. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. But man, very sensitive topic. Very sensitive. Suicide prevention and the growth rate. Mm. Yep. So, um, 
you know, we we feature, you know, um, oh, let me bring this up. We had so, the yeah, beautiful, we were, um, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, no, you're the beautiful, The Ovita, um, from Vita Talks presents Car Chronicles podcast, co-host, Keeping It Real show with Born Rich, co-host of, what's that? East Esteban, Esteban, Esteban Hour. Esteban Hour and Substance Abuse Counselor featuring Ovita Ivy. And she's yes. right here in Chicago. So shout out to Ovita, you know what I'm saying? Proud of you, Queen. Yes, um, very much so. And one of my brothers, you know what I'm saying? One of my little homies. He's actually the CEO of Wise Soul. Wise Loves to Buy LLC. It's actually CEO of Wise Loves to Buy LLC. Recording artist, songwriter. Um, the one and only Jay is yes real. Mm -hmm. He's right here, like I'm saying, Chicago, holding it down. Always proud of him, you know what I mean? Um, he's an Israelite and he has such a great message and has some new music out right now. So you definitely wanna mm -hmm. check that out. You know what I'm saying? Always bringing the heat, you know what I'm saying? Another talented artist. Um, Love it. For real, for real. And you know, we play a lot of basketball together too, you know what I'm saying? He still can't beat me. That's oh gosh, I said it. This is our show, so I, I had a liberty to to you know exa exaggerate if I want to right you now. You said it. <laughs> but now we go back and forth. That's my homie though. Shout out to Jay. Okay. <laughs> Shout out, dude. Um, okay. You need to get on a basketball right. court with him and beat his beat him. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back on the show and talk about it so we can have a good laugh. Right. <laughs> I love it. Um, so then recording artist, songwriter signed to Warren um Warner Music Philippines model and sex trafficking survivor featuring mm. one and only Naomi Key. Naomi Key. Excuse me. And she's located in Atlanta Bless and you. Florida. Mm -hmm. Um thank you, excuse me. And um she unfortunately wasn't able to make that show, you know what I mean? She has some emergencies that came up you know miscommunication okay. so um but you'd be still seeing her on my platform you know she's a very talented young lady um some real hot music that really you know matches to the vibe of today <laughs> right and uh you know she's um like i say she has a story and she's a survivor you know mm -hmm. unfortunately sex trafficking survivor so that's really um precious and you know with everything that's going on with the industry right now yes you know, you know, her story is definitely going to stand out. You know, mm -hmm. so you know, much, much respect to her. Much respect, and yes. everyone that was on the show, and you know, and you know, we really touched deep, deep into that topic. Like we really dove all the way in, and didn't mm -hmm. hold no punches when it came to that topic: suicide prevention and growth yes. rate. Because again, we just want to save lives. We want to help people and try to give our insight, knowledge based on our experience and. You know, and you know, information. Yeah. So that's what it's about, though. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you to everyone that was on that show, and um, make sure y'all go check out that episode. If you want to check out no other episode, check out that episode too. <laughs> but, but I'm gonna say that every episode, you know what I'm saying? Because every episode is lit in its own special way. That's true. That's you know, true. Everybody' personality is so. I love everybody, you know, saying different personalities. I love it. Yes. So, yes. yeah, this another show seems just like yesterday. Wow. September 28th. Mm -hmm. um, what happened on September 28th? Um, me, me. We talked about the uh, second childhood of fear of adulthood. Yes. Second childhood, fear of adulthood. Man. Like, y'all might need to listen to that or read that twice, three times. And what Mimi just said, second childhood, the fear of adulthood. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people suffering from that. Like, you know, just can't get over that hump, you know, yes. and just can't get over their past, you know, yes. still stuck in that, that child mentality. And it's like, no, it's time to step up. It's time to man up, woman up. You're an adult now. You know, certain mm -hmm. things that you have to do when you become an adult. And um, don't be afraid to, you know, be an adult. Don't be afraid to move out your parents' house if that's what it takes for you to continue to grow, to take, you know, control of your destiny, whatever you have to do, do that. Right. Right. No time. And see, so, look, 
And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to cut you because I just, I, I no, like, please, my please. spirit just led me to say something. Guys, let me tell you guys something because there are times when we want to kind of like step out of ourselves, you know, and do things today that we probably should have done back then or whatever the case may be. Like jump up real fast when your body's slow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm so not. Not. don't be scared <laughs> to jump up. Just don't jump up too fast because I experience that all the time. I'm thinking that I'm back there in my 20s, you know, right. um, and that's that's not what the show was about. At all, But I just felt like I just needed to say that because all I'm thinking to myself is sometimes <laughs> you just want to get up fast and run and you can't. So it's kind of like the same thing. It's like, just leave what's back there, back there and do something different, right. you know, and make it happen. But yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know why I felt I needed to say that. <laughs> we can continue going. <laughs> I'm to bite my tongue. I'm not going to say something that just came to mind for based on something you just said. But, you know, uh, but anyway, we had, <laughs> we had some great, some more great guests on the show. Um, Man, what a topic that was. Yes. Such Strong topic. Who was on the show, Mimi? So we had Nelly, OG Rebel. Oh my God, this little chick. I absolutely love her. You know what? You know that the, you know you do a lot of shows, and then you just remember like a few people that are like, oh, if I could only grab her and give her a hug. That OG yeah. Rebel, honey, that little mama, something else. Okay, owner of Organic Greatness, and you guys need to really kind of like get on the show or, or look her up and get her info and support her. She's got some good stuff going on. Um, she got the OG Rebel brand going on, holistic herbalist, skincare mm -hmm. formulator, soap artisan, designer, and plants lover. So that means she's amazing with her hands and she knows how to grow plants. I don't mm -hmm. know how to grow a plant. I will start <laughs> it and it finishes and that's it. <laughs> okay. So I could learn a lot from this little mama right here. Okay. Um, Amazing, amazing little trick. And I'm going to let you talk about everybody. Let me just get through everybody. So Jazzy the Poet, another amazing human being, CEO of the Elite Money Squad, LLC TV host, filmmaker, entertainment manager, poet, event planner, and worldwide promotions media module. Amazing mm -hmm. chick. You know, wow. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it moving. Deacon Gore. That's yes. the light of Beacon all in itself. This one right here. Man. Deacon Gore is amazing. Okay. He came off just really like, oh, let me just see what's going on. And honey, by the time he started telling his stories too, like everybody's got a story. It's amazing. Forever Travel Fly LLC, artist, scientist, creator of 50 years of Chicago hip hop album, Lords, Stones, and Disciples. I'm going to let yes. you run with everybody because, honey, you know, you got personal <laughs> stuff over here because, you know, everybody personally. So, yes, run with it. Yes, absolutely. Um, shout out to Deacon Gore. Man, such a talent. And he's actually, you know, what I mean, always coming out with some new music. Shout out to him and salute, man. I'm very proud of him. And, you know, again, just to touch on, you know, with how he brought all the gangs together, you know, what I'm saying the big, some of the bigger gangs. And here in Chicago, because that's definitely a um a serious issue, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, still to this day, you know, to just bring unity, because that's what it's all about. That's what we're doing here on the show, networking, bringing mm -hmm. unity, people together, you know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yep. And who else was on the show? Nelly oh, OG yeah. Rebel and Jazzy the Poet. Oh, I'm sorry. You already said Jazzy the Poet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I Shout did. Out to, um... it, had, it looked like we had frozen for a split second, but I just kept going. I didn't know whether it was, but then when you came back, you came oh, okay. back. So, yes, I did. I did mention her, but like I said, you know, I know that you know them personally. So, I just yeah. want you to touch base. Yeah, definitely. And shout out to Jazzy the Poet. You know, I recently um encountered her through the internet and everything. And man, what an awesome person. You know what I mean? We've had some great conversations since that time since she's been on the show and mm -hmm. you know um man it's such a great and she has a um a movie that just came to mind on to be called regrets no i want to say it's no regrets mm -hmm. either regrets or no regrets but you'll see is um is directed by jazzy the poet and she also plays a movie a really great film and it's actually about um um 
what was it? Um, the sex trafficking. Yes, that's what mm. it's about. Mm. It's about sex trafficking. So such a such a needed needed film. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. So make sure y'all check that out and um check her out. Salute to everyone and everyone on that show. Mhm. Mhm. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. So let's um uh, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Let's see who's next. So with the next episode, this was October twenty sixth. Your birthday month. My birthday. Birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> right. We're going to go back in the past, go back in time real quick. But yeah. We are. We are. We definitely are. <laughs> so, because it was your birthday, you weren't on this particular episode. You know, right. you was out there turning all the way up, you know, wherever <laughs> you was in the world. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm just happy that you was able to, you know, celebrate another great one. Yes. Yes. Um, Actually, so we featured, you know, the beautiful singer, songwriter, musician, and published model, um, and that would be Giselle, aka um, Giselle versus Chakra, and mm-hmm. she's here in Chicago, and she's actually now, you know, uh, helping us host from her point of view talk show. So that's really dope. Um, yes. Shout out to Giselle, appreciate you. And she has new music. Eye of the Storm just came out. Definitely got to hear that song, man. Her song mm-hmm. is, she, you know, some people when they sing, you just feel it in your, they get them chills down your back. She's mm-hmm. one of those singers. When you hear her sing and, and she start hitting them notes, oh, you, hear, nice. you feel that chill down your back. You know, you just can't help it. Like, and no matter how many times you've heard her, she's that good. Yes. I'm trying to tell you. Love it. Um, Yeah. Also, shout out to um CEO of UNF Gang owner of Dirty Money Apparel and recording artist featuring one and only D'Angelo Hall, a.k.a. D. Dollar, mm-hmm. Chicago Land. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, unfortunately, my brother, man, he, he had a, a, a terrible tragedy, you know, in his, his family, you know, right before the holidays. So prayers to him. Um, mm. I don't want to get too much all in his personal business, but, you right. know, in reference to who it was, but lost somebody very dear to him. So my prayers and my condolences right before yes. Christmas. Um, so our first helmet, you know what I'm saying, and his family, you know what I mean? Love you, brother, always, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, Definitely, I, prayers I, you're up. Going through, you're going through a tough, tough time right now. I mm-hmm. already know. So, Yes. Uh, then we also featured, and um, she was not able to make it. She had an um, emergency herself. There's so mm-hmm. much going on in the world. You're like, you just never know. Right. You know, sometimes we take plans and just can't show up. But she's right. a um, legendary violinist, composer, show host, and signed to 1924 Music Group featuring Yannicka, better known as y- um, Yanni. Mm. Um, and she's out there in Pennsylvania. And um, despite, you know, like I say, she's not on the show and, and due to her mercies because she's from Israel. Mm-hmm. She's an Indo- Israel descent. And so she has a lot of family that's in Israel and, you know, that's basically part of this war that's going on unfortunately and so yes. you know, she um had to attend to you know some stuff with her family um mm-hmm. and it's just unfortunate that we all going through war and it's different places and people losing their lives over just you know like it's so deep it's just crazy yeah but my prayers to her and her family too definitely yeah but um but yeah that show topic actually um, oh yeah, and shout out to Elise, um, who um filled in for you that particular day. Mm-hmm. And she's a famous founder and publisher of Just Me magazine, All of Us magazine, host of Pieces of Elise, blog radio show in 2021, Mrs. Sapphire. She was the winner of 40 and Up, um, and Beyond Beautiful Rural Pageant. No, I'm sorry, 50 and Up. Um, beyond beautiful rural pageant, fifty plus category. She appreciates forty. She appreciates yeah, forty. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. Okay. Right. Elise flies well. Shout out to my friend Elise. Yes, and, and thank you, Elise, thank for you. covering for your your girl over here. Okay. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I, we still got to connect y'all. We got to still. Yes, definitely. Okay, yeah. for the forty plus. 
50. Yeah. <laughs> Keep and it during that time, you know, and man, prayers going all the way around. Um, during that time, she did that show from the next to the hospital bed with her mom. And then a couple of days later, her mom died, unfortunately. Oh. And so, so my prayers again go out to Elise and you know, to all of her um family and friends and you know, just yes. again to be dollar, you know, with losing a, a family member and you know, and Yani and what she's going through with her family over in Israel and Palestine and yeah. man, it's just crazy. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, so moving on, moving on to now, we're moving on to November the thirtieth. And man, you know, we we bring it home soon because we right here in December. You know, yes, this, this is our last episode, actually. Yes. So this show topic was the importance of preparing for year twenty twenty four ahead of time. Yes. And I love I loved it because it's all about preparing from early and not waiting until the whole New Year resolution. Uh, the first of the year and all that stuff. Like back then in November last month, it was like, start now, please. You know? Mm -hmm. And that's what this was definitely about. We had the beautiful Bria Biz, honey, recruit commercial actress, published model and manager of nonprofit descendants of the truth. Such an amazing light in the world. I absolutely yeah. love her and need to reach out to her because we definitely vibed on some spiritual stuff. Like she's amazing. Yes. Amazing human being. And oh, then of course cool. we got the iconic, iconic, iconic. And I'm going to just, I'm going to let you go into her because I already know mm -hmm. that, that the vibe is, is, is fire. Yes. You know, definitely. Um, we had iconic, um, where are we at? Oh my goodness. Author. Yes, Betty, yeah, Betty. Yes, you got it. Founding, founding director of Dudley Beauty College, Chicago, since 1993, featuring iconic Betty R. Clausen. And when I say iconic, the woman has been affiliated with having over 100,000 students since 1993. And that's just amazing. You know what I'm saying? To yes. touch that many souls, that many spirits, that many bodies to inspire that many to give, you know, um, your pass on your wisdom and information, your talent, like that is crazy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And to have, you know, um, her on the show, you know what I mean? It was just such an honor, yes. you know, um, for her to share her time. And, and again, um, she doesn't really do too many shows. She doesn't go live, you know what I'm saying? She's, in her late 70s, 80 years old, somewhere mm -hmm. around there. And so she ain't got time for that. <laughs> right, <laughs> but exactly. She made time that day, you know what I'm saying, to share her wisdom yes. based on the topic, such an important topic that we uh, that we covered that day. Yes, yes. And um, and even though we had little technical difficulties, honey, she held on until she couldn't hold on no more. And she did her best and she did great, great. I would yes. love to see more of her on a podcast because she has so much wisdom and so much strength and energy to even like stay there and have the conversations and you can do nothing but just sit back and mellow out and listen to her because she's just that type person. Her spirit is amazing. Yes, it sure, surely, surely is. Yes. Um, yeah. And then um, you, you already mentioned Brie, right? Yes, I sure did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shout out, shout out to Bree, um, yes. Bree Beard. You know, what I'm saying, um, awesome spirit. You know, she had a lot to say, yes. and um, very meaningful, um, t um, meaningful things to say too. So it was, it really, um, helped. You know, um, support the topic that we was talking about that day. You know, mm -hmm. it was really touching. Yes. Yep, and then we have my boy, my brother. From another womb, <laughs> the one and only celebrity photographer and TV Ruku streaming host of My Celebrity Life, now streaming to at the time 7.4, but if I'm not mistaken, it just got up to now 10 million. Mm -hmm. He be killing it out there. 
-hmm. So he, now he's streaming to 10 million monthly and the president of FMG Media featuring the one and only G. Holla, 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 holla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, salute to my brother, man. G. Holla out there in the ATL holding it down as well. You know, yes. so Y'all definitely got to connect. I know. I know. You know what? <laughs> folks get busy and life goes on and then it's like, oh, I forgot he or she, they're right here. Yeah. Half, half these people that be on this show, have, is, if they're not from Chicago, mm -hmm. half of them has been from Atlanta, I swear. Yes. And you, you know, got your then, you got your little New Yorkers, honey. Your, your New Yorkers step up in here every now and then with all that sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, New Yorkers. We got Cali was definitely in the building, but other than that, it's been kind of spread out, you know. Yes. For the Pennsylvania, you know, um, man, everywhere. We we really been we almost hitting fifty states on this show. That's what's crazy. Love it. With the shows, with from her point of view, Kabad, with the square table, and I'm not even lying. No exaggeration, y'all, for all that's listening. We almost hit in 50 states. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's such a blessing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so um, I'm just grateful. Yes, it definitely Man, is. Yeah, so we did it, though. We, we did, did it. Did that. We, we just, <laughs> hey, we just ran through all those shows that we've been doing since <laughs> January of 2022. And again, so grateful for everybody that took the time and made time to be on our show because, you know what I mean, this show is like, I can't mention how important it is. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's going to get insight and sometimes people in comments have negative things to say and, you know what I mean, that don't mean we still don't love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone has the right to say whatever you want to say. That's your opinion. You have freedom of speech. Right. But you know what I mean? That'll stop us from loving on people and you know, stop us from loving other people because everybody has their opinion. Everyone's going through what they're going through. And mm -hmm. sometimes people need a way to vent. Sometimes people choose people to pick on or whatever the case may be, but they just need help sometimes themselves. They just reach and that's their way of reaching out. Right. Like, help me, help me. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I have a good way of helping. Talk to them. It's just a snatch. That's all it is. Let me snatch you from the sideline and be like, look, what's going, what's really going on? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what's really the problem? Who did it? Let's talk about it. <laughs> that's right. Sometimes you got to do that with people because look, look, ugliness is, that's something that's, that's, that's taught from little. Like you're going to either have an ugly spirit or a sweet spirit. One or the other, what is it going to be? But when you right. raise in, in, in toxicity or you got toxicity going on, you know, all we can do is just snatch you and snatching is, it, it ain't always bad. My snatch is good. It's just a lot of love. It's just a little click of the finger here and here. That's it. Just come over here. Come over here. Let's have a conversation. That's it. <laughs> Nothing but love. You know, by the time I'm done with you, we got all love, honey, because that's what we're about over here at the square table. That's right. That's right. Snatch that's and grab, right. okay? <laughs> snatch and grab. <laughs> a positive snatch and grab, okay? Not no literal snatch and grab. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. Nothing but love. No, yeah. absolutely. And um again, for everyone not only has been on the show, but thank you to everyone over this period of time going all the yes. way back to January of 2022 who have commented, who have shared some of their advice and opinions, you know what I mean, in the chat box. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um just continue to just support the show, you know what I'm saying? Um you know, one person in particular, and I'm not about to name everyone because it's impossible, but Hazel Merritt, shout out to Hazel Merritt, because she finds a way to always tune in to all of our shows uh, from, from her point of view, celebrity interview, I said in the show, it's the square table, she's such a big supporter, Cinnamon, yes. aka Cinnamon, um, from Sinful Sauce, um, I really appreciate you out there in Houston, so man, salute to you, Queen, and I really um appreciate you and despite you never been on any of these shows you still right. support it that's just like another type of love mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying? like usually it's for people that have been on the program that finds a way like okay let me double back and still support but she hasn't even been on the show but she supports the show yes that's 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 love that's genuine love right there she supports my social media as well and i love that i'm like where did this little mama come yeah. from always supporting yeah. i absolutely love it and i i and I give a lot of love back in return, you know? 
That's right. But I couldn't go nowhere without saying my, my friend Hazel, because she's always, her name always popping up. So I yes. appreciate you. That's you right. Um, but yeah, great job, Mimi. You know what I'm saying? And man, again, um, let's end this right. I'm going to end it right. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no one else to celebrate before you. So it's all about you right now. And I just love you so much. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't ready for the dance. <laughs> I know you wasn't. But no, um, hold on. I'm going to show you that it's all about you. Watch this. Oh, no. Let me put you on uh, the jumbo screen. I love it. Yes, I love it. It's all about you, Mimi. This is how I should have been doing the whole show. Because <laughs> it's all about Mimi. No, it's definitely. not. It's about us. Okay. It's all about us. <laughs> nah, but yeah, that's about us, about the topics about, you know, the community, yes. about helping the community. And um, you know, but in reference to you, I love you so much, Mimi. Thank you for going out your way. I know it's been a challenge for everyone, you know what I'm saying? And a challenge for as you continue to manage all the great things you're doing in your life, you found a way to continue to show up and support you know, this this episode, this program that we do over here, and I'm grateful for having you on from her point of view talk show. You know, you went out your way to be there <clears throat> despite, you know what I mean? Uh, right now, we're not bringing no money in, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, over there yet, but it's coming. Believe that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You definitely always be a part of everything that we do. And um, thank you for, you know, just being here with me, you know what I'm saying? You give me so much more confidence you know what i'm saying you motivate me you're such an inspiring um individual you know saying unparalleled spirit you have Thank you. um beautiful beautiful inside and out and um i love that little curl you got coming down over the eyebrow <laughs> right now that's, <laughs> okay, that's sexy the little, the little curls i'll be doing hunt because look sometimes you just gotta do something okay <laughs> Yeah, that, that's, that's what they you. call that. <laughs> that's the curl. That's just the curl, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, you keep it sexy, though. And you know Thank what I mean? You. Um, you know, I'm not a person that really smile a lot. But for whatever reason, when I get on the show with you, I'll be smiling and cheesing and shit. And people be like, hey, I saw you smile. I'm like, no, you didn't, because I don't smile. Because I bring that I love. Around, I bring that love. Yeah. Yeah, when I get around Mimi, you know, I'll be cheesing around stuff like that. You know what I'm Aww, saying? Oh, thank you. Thank and that's you, just thank your you. energy. That's just your spirit that brings that out of me because I'm really just a laid back type of dude. So, yeah. I don't know. That's just how I roll. But no, I'm just good. grateful for you and just thank you. And man, I wish you a, a great upcoming transition as we go into this new year of New Year's. Um, yes. Despite New Year's really starting in March, but that's an, another topic. Um, but yeah, as we go into January, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Man, I hope everything just, you know, everything that you wishing for, everything you're working on, um, man, and abundance. Thank you. And true abundance. And it's all going to come to you. And you've worked so hard. And it's so many more flowers and things and wealth that is coming your way. I know it. I see it. I feel it. And you do too. I receive you it. That's right. That way. <laughs> I definitely receive yeah. it. And thank you so much. That look, I, I can't thank you enough. Okay. I've I've been everything that you have going on, you find a way to bring me in and I find a way of saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> it just is what it is. You're not gonna bring me into anything that I'm gonna say no to because at the end of the day, I want to be a part of everything that you have going on. So I just want to say thank you so much over and over and over again for all that it, all that you do for who you are, for what you do, for what you've done for others. Forgetting about yourself. You know, I am, I, I really thank God that he brought you through the most difficult times, especially that car accident you was in, you know, and, and I don't want to, I don't want to touch too much on it because I don't want to get too emotional because when I saw the car, I'm glad that I knew that you were okay before I saw the car, because if I had seen that car and not heard from you yet, I might have freaked out. But mm -hmm. I thank God that you were fully covered when that took place, because you're meant to be here. You have, 
You have amazing things happening for you too. I see it. I feel it. And I'm just happy to be a part of your world. I'm happy to be a part of your life. And I thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. So and I receive it and I appreciate it. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm, I'm Bring. The love is there. Okay. <laughs> yes. Right. You got it. You got it. So thank you. No, that's awesome. No, thank you so much, Mimi. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you think this would be like a good time to tell them about our new show that we're going to be doing soon? Hey, yes, we can do that. We can so, do that. Uh, this just came to me in reference to saying, like, maybe we may need to make an announcement, you know. So this is exclusive, y'all. So let me go and find this picture. It ain't going to take long. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but, yeah, let me find where is this flyer. There's another slot on the calendar. Another slot on the calendar. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. And um, maybe it's just yeah, really, I'm ready for it. I'm definitely ready for it. Yeah, well, you know, we have so much success together. So it's like, why not? Why not do another yes. show? Yes. And, yes. Mm. I love it. And this is, you know, and this is something, you know, in reference to food, go ahead and, you know, give it a little away as I try to search for this flyer so I can stall. Hold on. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good. The anticipation Hello. drum roll. Do, 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 <laughs> yeah, let me turn on some some music. Um, give y'all some music real quick. Okay. Some anticipation music. Some hype hype music. Let's see uh -oh. how it come up. Um, I'm just going random. This is random. I don't know what this do. Uh -huh. We're gonna see. <laughs> Did it play? No. <laughs> okay. Here's there you the go. Uh oh. Okay, this sounds like that might be some anticipation music. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. I like yeah. that. This is so random. That's so random. <laughs> there it is. And so I found the flyer and then when I'm bringing it in, my phone took me off screen. Uh oh. But um, we got this one. Uh, Oh yeah, and while we wait too, let me go ahead and this is an upcoming show, mm -hmm. upcoming event. So you all definitely check out. Shout out to Giselle. She's on the she got a, um, show coming up. And um uh, that's her and her good friend. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can see that on the flyer. And they have special guests, little easy e is gonna be in the building too. So that's cool. Nice. And so make sure y'all check that out. And step up. Alright, here it comes. Y'all ready? Oh drum roll. I don't think they ready. Let me turn the music on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Drum roll. On <laughs> five, <laughs> four, three, two. Okay, see. <laughs> <laughs> No, I did that on purpose. All right, here we go. So I want to introduce y'all to our new show. Look at that. Yes. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Look at them <laughs> curls, honey. Look at that curls popping. Curls is back. <laughs> yes, <laughs> curls, honey. Man. I said it in the building. 
Yes. yes Sunday absolutely. dinner with I Said It and Mimi the show. Okay. Yes. Hey, yeah. this is gonna be an awesome show. Like they they don't even understand what they're looking at right now. I swear they don't. <laughs> They don't even know. They they probably confused. Like, wait, what? Um, food. I said it. Mimi dinner. What is this? So this is actually we're gonna be featuring different people. So anyone out there who has their own food, their own dish delicacy, it can be you know a delicacy. It can be you know saying like tacos. It can be burgers. You might got your own sauce. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. shout out to Hazel. She got her own sauce, so we're going to have to find a way to bring her on here so yes. she could highlight her sauce. You know what I'm saying? So anybody that has anything to do with food, this show is for you as well. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be eating our food while you talk about your food or your product when it comes to, you know, food. And maybe it's going to be a point to where you can send us something and we could be eating the food that you're talking about. That's right. So, you know, we like, you know, basically food critics. Yes. Yeah, yes. So I'm loving this. I'm loving this good. already. Yes. Yeah. And it's going to be featured on Facebook and YouTube. And now I'm glad to say Instagram because StreamYard now offers Instagram streaming. So we about to be all over IG. We about to take IG over. Yes. You know let's saying? go. Let's go. Yes. Yep, so. right. You know how good that is? Look, you guys, you, look, first of all, for, this this goes for all of us who loves podcasts, podcasting, all this good old stuff. You know, you get to have your maybe a little sip, your little this, but we get to eat while on the yep. show. You get to see get us to in eat. our element. Right. <laughs> and we get to showcase amazing people from everywhere around the world, whether it's your seasoning or your hot sauce or your your sprinkles of whatever it is that you make. We get to taste that and showcase you. I'm yes. ready. I'm That's ready. Right. You might got cake sprinkles or something, uh, frosting, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, yeah. whatever it is, desserts, you know what I'm saying? We got so many great desserts out there, cake makers, pie makers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you might got your own mac and cheese, you know what I'm saying? Holla at us, you know what I mean? trying to tell you it ain't gonna be long and to that show just go crazy and take off i'm trying to tell you because this is what the people need you know yes. we need more natural food critics for people that's not technically from the restaurant background and industry but just real normal people who like to eat yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying who enjoy food you know what i'm saying that's what's gonna make ours really stand out too Oh you know Lord, saying? can't can't let can't let Roger hear this over there, CB and the boys on He's gonna be like, Mimi, what you over there eating? You gonna have me like this on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but this is exciting. Thank you so much. I said it. See, just another blessing, another blessing via I said it management, honey. Yes. No, I love thank it. you. This is a combination of both I said it and MIA Entertainment Group. You already know. Um, something else yes. just to continue to add to our resumes, you know what I'm saying? Our resumes are long already, but yes. you know, it, it don't stop, you know what I mean? Because it's, we just ambitious, man. We ambitious and we love bringing people together. And because right. this is who we are. I mean, it's just, um, you know, I love it. Yes. I, yeah, so, so, but yeah, I'm just so grateful for um everything and it's been another great episode of the square table, we come get back to your square only at the square table featuring myself, celebrity interviewer. I said it, and the lovely Mimi and beautiful Acosta, legendary the baby. There's only one of me, okay? <laughs> That's right. You see that curl, there's only one. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> there's only one, honey. There's only one of this right here. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, but I can't wait to um connect with you meet me in person you know since yes awesome. i know yeah. it's been so long we gotta make that happen that's 2024 baby oh yeah we definitely go yes. see each other for real yes. but until then you know we just gonna keep making history from that um our place of business and our our cities and locations where we are so yes um thank god for the internet <laughs> i know i know but what we do without it that's right Yep, but man, thank you for everyone that was able to tune in today. Um, 
as if you all don't know what's going on right now, this was the last episode of the Square Table. You can get back in your square, only the Square Table with me and Mimi um, last Thursday of every month. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that may or may not change when it comes to the date and um, whatever, you know, based on our schedule. We got a lot more on our plate coming up, right. you know, but if, you know, you don't see the Square Table for a while, no worries. Until then, just go back and look at the other episodes and keep, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, that's how you can always get the energy because what's been done, it's been done. It's right. documented and we've done some great shows so far. So until we return, you know, might, we might take a break. I don't know, you know, we, you know, take a break sometime. You know, ain't nothing wrong with taking a little break in between seasons. But when we get but back, yeah. you already know it's fire. You already know it's all the way up. When, yes. we, when we return, it's up. Yes. Everything. So yeah, so um, yes. Yeah, so, so thank you again for everyone that tuned in. Man, we gonna catch, catch y'all next time. You gonna see us again on the show we just showed. Just in case you missed it, one more time. I love so, it. One more time for the one time Sunday oh. dinner with I said it and Mimi. The show time yes. date to be announced soon. So. Get ready. Get y'all food together. Y'all can contact us ASAP. You know how to contact us. If you know us, you know us. If you don't, then, you know. Figure it out. Get to know us, okay? That's Figure all. it out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> what's your email? What's what's a way that they can contact you? What's the way that they can get at you, Mimi, if they want to network or support us? Maybe send some information to you. The best way would be via Instagram at MIA. And well, you know what? Hold on a second, because I actually changed that. I purposely changed that too. I want to say that it's Mimi Acosta underscore MIA Entertainment Group. I hope that that's what it is, guys, because I had to make some on little what? changes. On what and Instagram? On Instagram, yes. I actually, um, I actually did did change the name, so it is Mimi Acosta underscore MIA Ent Group. Okay, so that's M I M I E. A C O S T A underscore M I A E N T G R O U P. Okay. okay, I know it's lengthy, but that's what it is. Okay, Mimi Acosta. Start out with my name because what's been happening is that apparently there's another M I A Entertainment out there, and it ain't Mimi Acosta. So I started out mm -hmm. with my name. As soon as you put M I M I E A C O S T A or M I M I E, it's gonna pop right up. Okay, but that is me. Okay, and you can send me a email to mp3 music, the number two MIA at gmail.com. All right, and that's how you can get a hold of me. Okay, absolutely. And um, if you want to contact me, you know, anything in reference to business, I have a new email now, and it's I said it management, keep it simple, at gmail.com. I said it management at gmail.com. That's my new Gmail. So Beautiful. just get at me, you know what I mean? Um, because man, I had to start a different email because this I said it dot mc at gmail is flooded. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's hard to, it's so flooded, it's hard to separate so many. I got everything coming there, you know what I mean? Um right. now, from her point of view, that has its own email, but respectively, I had like personal business attached to that. So now y'all want to get at me. Forget the old email. Just contact me when it comes to business. I said it management at gmail.com. There we go. That way. So, yeah, that way. Hey, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, y'all, um, man, again, I pray that you all have a um, safe transition as well. Everyone out there watching the show that may see this show at a later time, you know, blessings, happy holiday. Um, Happy hot, um, Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa today, you know what I'm saying, as we continue to go into this new year. And, man, 2024, we come. Here we come. Here we come, baby. Man, the takeover begins, for real. Yes, right now. But just like we, we said on the show, preparing um, for success, like, don't wait. You got to prepare ahead. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You want to do something tomorrow. You can't wait till tomorrow to do it. You can't even wait till the day before to do it. You want to do right. it as soon as plan ahead. You know what I'm saying? I'm grateful to say that, you know what I mean? Remind people I have this retail store coming up. But for me, 
to establish this to be ready to open in January. I mm -hmm. prepared for this back in October. Um, what is that? September, around September, October. Mm -hmm. That's when I prepared for this. And then God blessed me and things worked out within the universe and it lined up for me to have this. And now I got my stuff, gas in my name. I got the electric in my name, um, the leases in my name. You know what I'm saying? The insurance is about to be in my name. Uh, man, like God is good. And yes. I'm prepared now to when January comes, the first week, maybe second week of January, we is up. You know what I'm saying? I can start doing business. You know what I'm saying? But if I would have waited, who knows? It might have been March. And now right. I didn't cut in the year. Now that's almost the end of the quarter, the first quarter. You yes. know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I'm, I didn't mess up. So that's why you want to prepare now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till tomorrow to prepare for next week. Do it That's now. Right. Get y'all shit together. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was trying to refrain from saying uh, words like that, okay? Because I try to keep it real PG over here. But yeah, get right. it all together, people. Come on, okay. we got to get our shit together, people. Come yes. on. We'll I do. believe in y'all. I believe yes. in me. I believe in me, me. And we all, we believe in y'all, but we got to yes. really all collect to get our shit together, get our stuff together. And sometimes we got to talk to people like this because sometimes, like, my sister been telling me certain things for years and it's like when she, your parents too, like, you know, when mm -hmm. they start cursing you start, it's like, whoa, whoa. It's like personal. Even when you on the job, when right. your boss start cursing, you know that it's serious. When your yes. boss start getting loud with you, if they don't always get loud with you, you know, say, you know, like, you didn't fucking up. You got to get right. it together. <laughs> Get it together. You know what I'm saying? We got to get this together. We only get one time. We don't get too many second chances in life. You got to right. get it together. You got to yes. yes. do the things that you say and don't be afraid because my sister shared this post. I wish I had time to bring it up, but I'm not going to bring it up. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what it was. So it's a dart board. So imagine two dart boards, right? And it says both represents failure. On one dart board is empty. They never threw any darts. It's just five darts just sitting on the side. Dart board clear. Can y'all visualize with me? Stay with me. Stay with me, y'all. And then the other dart board has five random darts in it. And it both says failure. But the thing is, this is what failure looks like. This is what success can look like. It can represent success or failure. But the one that's empty would never represent success. The empty dart board. Never, mm -hmm. because you didn't throw any darts, you didn't try, you didn't attempt. But that other dart board, you might just hit bullseye. You just may hit bullseye. Right. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Yes. But throw them darts out. Try, attempt, attempt to fail, attempt to succeed. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because failure is always just another lesson to how to be successful later on. That's right. That's all you're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna keep failing too many times. Mm -hmm. you know and if you do just know that success is coming yeah and it's not and it's not and, so, and look even to me like it's not even so much as like failing like i don't even look at it like as as that like i because i don't like that word i just think it's just lesson learned you know just do something different and move on that's just it you know and if you gotta stick to the same thing just re-strategize maybe it's just something that you're doing wrong a little bit of too much salt maybe too much sugar maybe god knows what it is that you're doing with it Maybe you need to extract some people to bring in some other folks. You know, just keep going, though. The bottom line is move forward. You got That's this. That's right. You got this. I heard. We got this. We got Real it. Fruit. Yes. Yes. So, guys, happy, 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 happy 2024. Okay. And don't wait until the new year to do shit. Do it now. Do it today. Okay, sit down and write it out and make it happen. Get started. Sure. Preparation is yes. everything. Everything. Yeah. For real. So, man, keep y'all faith, prepare, and go hard. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold back no punches in 2024. Um, go harder than you ever have before. I mean, I want you to work harder, dedicate yourself more, delegate, you know what I'm saying, yourself more. Yes. And prepare and like she just said, write it down. Mm -hmm. Know what you're doing before you're doing it, you know. Yes. For real. 
Let's Man, go. happy new year. Happy new year, Mimi. I love you. Yes, I'll love see you, you in too. The new year. If not, see you before then because we still got some week left. Yes. But yeah. <laughs> still Definitely. Got a few days. <laughs> but Alrighty. yeah, be safe. Um, enjoy your day. And thank you again for this awesome show. You know, always you. a pleasure to be beside you and just, you know, mean, uh, turn up. Likewise. Let's go. Right. Listen, make these billions of dollars going forward. It's that way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that way. That way. <laughs> All right, peace, queen. All righty, one love. Talk to you soon, one love. Bye-bye. All right, peace. Oh, yeah, let me end with the flyer. That'll be nice. That'll be sweet. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Just in case they forgot what this is. Okay, yeah, beautiful. Our fan day, it's us. It's us. <laughs> On the opposite sides. That's neat. <laughs> right. We got each other back right now. See? Yes. That's what that's what that is. All right, we're gone. Peace. Bless. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>